Believe it or not, I'm speaking to you behind the camera because as of today, my passport runs out. My 10 year um, UK European Union passport runs out. So I thought I'd go through all the places I'd been as recorded in my passport and at the same time go through all the places I've gathered gifts from. I was originally, it's my arm, I'm not going to appear on camera because I haven't shaved. Um, I was, I did originally start buying gifts and um, it became difficult It became difficult, I've got something, I've got one. It became difficult to think of things to buy. So eventually I decided, rather than, oh, there's one, there's one under there. Rather than, um, rather than, um, rather than collect, uh, buy, buy a gift, I would, get a fridge magnet. I can't remember which was the first fridge magnet. The passport might help. Then I discovered, when I after I bought the first one, that my fridge isn't magnetic. Well, it's not magnetic. It's not made of a metal that's magnetic. So I thought, damn, what am I going to do? And luckily, my bread bin is. Although, it, as you can see, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, fitting it all on. That, this is from Australia. It doesn't actually say, I've just noticed, it doesn't actually say Australia on it, but of course, kangaroos. So that's, um, that confirms that's from Australia. The glass I got from Russia. It's a set of uh, shot glasses. And that, is a paperweight I got from Warsaw. Right, just under the passport. Oh, as I said, those those are just before I forget as well. I've been to all of those places um, that I've got fridge magnets for, except for Lucy Pinder. I've yet to go to Lucy Pinder. So that was me in 2004. So that was me 2004. So start from the beginning of the book. And what do we have first? Something that's difficult to read. Shelves process. That's what I should have written in. Right. The first ones I've got a stamp for Singapore. I'd been to Singapore before. Um, however, I was doing a not quite round the world trip. I stopped in I got as far as New Zealand, which is also on that page. And um, it included the logical place to stop was Singapore, so I went to Singapore again. And it was just as hot and humid as last time I was there. What can I remember? Um, can I remember a nice massage? Um, and walking quite a bit. Um, that's about it, really. So I was in Singapore. So where's Singapore? Singapore is there. One over. That's my Singapore fridge magnet, so I'll put that to one side. That is my New Zealand fridge magnet. I think it was a better fridge magnet than that. 
more substantial. Unfortunately, I think I broke it. When I open and close the um, bread bin, they fall off sometimes. So that's New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. What can I remember about that? Um, unfortunately, I arrived in New Zealand. I was there for about five days in Auckland. The hotel was lovely. It had um, cooking facilities as well as um, sleeping, which is ideal because I got there and this is not the first time on one of my trips this has happened. I couldn't get access to money or didn't have any, which is the same thing really. Um, and so I had to keep to a tight budget. Um, and so having the cooking facility was ideal. Unfortunately, it meant I didn't have any money to go anywhere else apart from stay in Auckland, which was a bit of a disappointment. And the other thing I significantly remember is I went to the I went to the um, the, uh, the big tower in Auckland, had a burger, and they gave me this sachet of sauce, and. Um, I didn't know what to, how to get it open. It was nothing like nothing I'd seen before, and so I made the foolish mistake of uh, pointing it towards myself and um, and uh, applying pressure to it. And unfortunately, I squirted tomato sauce all over my shirt, and it was a nice, clean, white one as well. I'd ironed it special. So that's what I remember at Auckland. Also, I um, had to go on a golf simulation. And that's about it, really. That's about all I did, apart from um, have a wander around Auckland. Yeah, that's, I was hoping to go to the South Island and see more of New Zealand. Unfortunately, I just saw Auckland. So that's third. What have we got next? Now, the problem with... Um, let's check. Forward. I've been to America twice. Da -da 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 -da. The first time was was um so that's June only two thousand eight. Admitted. Must have admitted. Ah, so that's, that makes sense. So I don't think I've, I've got stamps for that. Looking at that. So here's a stamp saying I was admitted to the United States. Now I've been to the United States twice, although I've got more than I haven't got the stamp, I don't think, for the first time. I went to um, California. There's my California stamp. Oh, fridge magnet. And, um, and I went to Disneyland. I don't think I went on a single ride, I just had to wander around. It was very, very busy. So I bought that before I left. Um, yeah, I went to... I went to Los Angeles, yeah, I flew to Los Angeles, and what well, basically I booked the flights and then to and from Los Angeles, and then decided what to do afterwards. And I found I wanted to go further than I did. However, when I worked out how big the place was and distances, I could only go from Los Angeles to San Francisco and then return. I was hoping to go. Um, to um, I think it's San Diego I think as well. So um, so that's what I did. I drove. I hired a car and drove from Los Angeles to San Francisco. And stayed in a couple of places on the way there and one on the way back. Um, what can I remember? I remember uh, having a problem with my hire car. I was going to have a Rav Four. Didn't have a parcel shelf, so I couldn't hide my suitcase. 
so I ended up with the Prius, which wasn't too bad. Um, however, I fancied um, I did fancy the higher driving position of the Rav4. I've right to have the Prius, so that was that. Um, the first hotel in Los Angeles was very nice. The one I stayed at when I returned, I'd wish I'd booked the first hotel because it was as good. And um, the the door to the hotel room was like more like a motel really was straight in, onto the car park, which I didn't really like to be honest. Um, didn't like Los Angeles at all. Uh, the stars, the the stars on the on the pavements. Um, if, I was, if I was some of the stars, I wouldn't be particularly happy to be honest, because you, there's some you like know, this used car park. There's your star. So, um, so that's not so good. San Francisco I liked. Unfortunately, it was a bit cold. I can remember. Um, Getting cold there. I didn't take a, didn't think to take a thicker coat. I took more of a summer coat, and so I did get a bit cold in San Francisco. And when I returned to Los Angeles Airport, in the changeover or the handing over of the hire car, I forgot it was hanging up in the rear of the car, and I left the coat behind. So that's so that was that trip. I think this stamp is for a cruise I did from New York. I say that because I've got three stamps. And um, I, because I, because I um, arrived in New, New York, left on the cruise liner, and then returned to New York, I got, got some extra stamps. So I think that's from cruise I did from New York to the Caribbean and returning to New York. So there's me Empire State Fish Magnet and a Turks and Caicos Island Fish Magnet. So that's that one. Where's the other ones? So of course I've got June, June, two thousand and eight. Second. And um, June the eighth. That might have been because we went to. Um, ah, that's another one other thing I've got. Yeah. So I can leave the camera because. Puerto Rico. That might be a stamp for Puerto Rico as well because we stopped there. And I bought some dominoes as you do. I didn't have any. I still got the price on. And um, I haven't played now or built the massive big um, pile of them to knock down. So that's Puerto Rico. So that's the cruise. Cruise, it was okay. The cruise liner was very nice. The cabin was very nice. Um, as usual, everyone ignored me. Excuse me, aftershave. So that's New Zealand. That's that stamp. New York, I don't like New York. I don't like big cities, to be honest. And New York's one of the worst. Worst. Right, what have we got here? We've got on the left hand side, we've got Tokyo. And for Tokyo, they've got an Eiffel Tower. So um, I bought an Eiffel Tower Tokyo version fridge magnet. Tokyo? Um, Tokyo? Yeah, remember Tokyo. Oh, I've got loads probably. Um, First arriving, of course everything's in, believe it or not, everything in 
Japan's Japanese. It's amazing, isn't it? And um, so I had a map, sort of map to my um, hotel, and um, oh, it's a nightmare because you can't you can't look at it when it is. So I almost, for the very first time, almost got almost got a taxi to um, to take me to the hotel. I've already managed to resist, and um, I had to ask for directions in a, a convenience store, and I eventually found my hotel, um, and then found it was the wrong one. Not the first time this happened to me. It's the it was the bright um, uh, brand of hotel, except they had just two of them. Dai Ichi, I think it was, and um, I was I thought I would arrived in it. I thought, oh, this is nice, and I was in the cheaper version next door. It's still nice, but the rooms, of course, being Tokyo, the rooms are very, very small. Um, I had a nice first um, evening. I met a nice young lady. Yeah, first night. Um, we just got the thing off to. Um, Got the, the trip off to a good start, and then um, I tried to use the the subway or the public transport system, and it's an absolute nightmare. Again, it's all in Japanese, um, and I just couldn't work out where, what line to, to get to to go to and to to where you know. So I discovered sent um, oh I can't think of the island's name. There's an island with Fuji TV on, and um, a big uh, uh, sort of entertainment place with um, Ferris wheel and indoor games like football, target shooting, baseball, all this stuff. So I basically I used just to go over there because I knew how to get there, and I wouldn't get lost. I think I had to go to see the Royal Palaces. Um, yeah, and I, there was this football game where the goal is divided up into um, like nine segments, and you have to kick the ball through the different nine segments. So I did that most of the time until I ran out of money. And then um, I had one go at baseball, I think. So that was Japan. Oh, another strange thing. The, um, all the restaurants, practically all the restaurants, they have um, they have displays of the food as they would appear on your plate in the window. Unfortunately, it's all plastic, so it looks horrible. It really put it really put me off wanting to go in and taste the food. So I, st I stuck to Italian, I think. <laughs> I think I'm mostly Italian food in um, in, in Tokyo. <laughs> Because I was put off by the plastic plates. So that's Tokyo. That was on. That was on the um, not quite round the world trip. Then we've got on the right hand side, Dubai. That's that. That's another one that's fortunately fallen off the bread bin and I broke it. There's Dubai. So if I put my finger there, you wouldn't know, would you? Unfortunately. Now you do. So that's Dubai. Um, hot, obviously, Dubai. Um, what can I remember? I can't remember that much. I found um, I found a nice indoor shopping centre, which whose name I can't remember. It began with a B, I think. And I played floodlit pitch and putt golf, and it was a nightmare because the the um, the flood, because it's floodlit. Well, certainly for me, I couldn't hit the ball because I. But presumably my eyes were confused. So I've got a squinchy eyes as it is. Presumably my eyes were confused, and um, I kept deafening all the time, hitting, hitting, um, taking lots of mud and no ball. So that's sort of something I can remember from Dubai. Um, I can't talk too much. Otherwise, this has gone for yonks, isn't it? Yonks. Ah, there it is. I think. Yep, 
Yeah, I think that. That's, that's I think that's the American stamp. It's difficult to see, isn't it? There's a camera there, that's it. So that was March seventh, two thousand. Yes, sorry, yeah. That's why it was called in San Francisco because it was March, and I didn't think about that. Cause I think all oh, Los Angeles is nice and hot, and in San Francisco I, sh sh I shivered quite a lot. Uh, I drove through Big Sur, S U R, and all the rest of that, and the coastal road, and it's excellent. Very very scenic. Um, and then we get Australia, Sydney. That was a partial, almost ran the road trip. I stayed in Sydney for about four days, I think it was. Um, and I can remember arriving and it absolutely bucketed down. Bucketed, bucketed, bucketed. Buckets of rain it was. Um, there was a problem with my hotel. I did eventually get in. And I was in um, a travel lodge, I think it was. More, uh, high rise, which is good. I had a nice view because I was quite high up. So that was Sydney. For some reason, I decided I needed to do um, open air concerts. I usually usually sang wherever I went. They say I'm mad, and um, so I found a spot under the Sydney Harbour Bridge, facing the Ferris wheel actually, and I did it about three nights. Worked out the set list and did three nights singing just on my own across the water in Sydney. So that was, so uh, yeah. I did try the Opera House, not quite in the Opera House, by the park next to it. It was a very good spot though, people would get walking past, so um, I decided to return to the, um, the Sydney Upper Bridge and sing under that, so no one can hear me. It's the best way really, when you're mad. So that's that, so that's Sydney. So I haven't got a Sydney, I've just bought this Australian animal, my pens. Have a Sydney. Um, oh, I just departed Australia. Because I'm now somewhere in the UK. Um, Melbourne, what can you remember at Melbourne? I arrived at the airport and it was, I'm not sure if there's more than one, but there's the, the one I landed at um, was in the middle of nowhere. It was nowhere near Melbourne. It was miles away, we had to get a coach. You had to get a coach from um, Melbourne to, sorry, the airport to Melbourne and uh, again, I was concerned I didn't have enough money to buy a ticket for the coach. And I think I was just, I couldn't, I wasn't sure about um, this cash point, there's an issue with cash point, I forget what it was now. However, I did actually get some money and I could afford, because I don't know, stuck in the airport in the middle of nowhere, in the, it was quite hot, um, and not actually get to Melbourne, but luckily I managed to raise some money and caught the coach into Melbourne. I had an ice cream, an ice cream, ice cream, but when I arrived, and uh, so I got a very bad sore throat, and so um, I didn't feel too good when I stayed in Melbourne, unfortunately. And the other unfortunate thing was I wanted to run while I was in Australia, and um, I was running out of time. And I didn't recover really well enough to be well enough, though I still had to do it. So I did, in spite of the fact I didn't feel very well. So I ran, um, I ran along the river eventually. For, when I left, I left my hotel, uh, passed some sports grounds, and um, got to a bloke fishing. And decided I'd run far enough, and then ran back to the hotel. I visited the. Um, Cricket Ground, Melbourne I think it's called, and um, couldn't visit the uh, Australian Open because there didn't, be, didn't seem to be a visitor's sort of uh, centre there, so I just had, you can view it from the walkway leading to um, the Melbourne Cricket Ground. So that was Melbourne. Uh, 
Da -da 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 -da. Right, another talking of problems. This is another recurring theme, isn't it? Um, like this, I haven't planned. Don't plan my trips very well. So we've got two Canadian stamps. The first time I went to Vancouver, and um, I haven't got no, I haven't got one of I know. I haven't got a Vancouverian uh, fridge magnet. I went to Vancouver in January. I wanted to hire a car, go to <whistles> Whistler, and um, unfortunately I had cash issues again. I couldn't get that tech pick car hire up, car car hire car hire. So I had no car, and um, it's okay. I bought a load of food, and um, then discovered I couldn't get take money out, and I couldn't get in contact with my bank to um, find out what the problem was. So I had, I was in Vancouver for about four to five days, I think it was, and I did this one shop, bought a bit of food and a block of cheese, and um, all of a sudden I had about four days left, three or four days left, and I only had 50 Canadian dollars, I think it was, or pounds version, and um, I also had to buy a ticket for the coach to get me to the airport again. So um, I had to um, basically, I think I I had one piece of what was called steak, which is very, very cheap, and it tasted it. Um, and I lid off eggs. <laughs> I had to run out the rest of the food to try and save. I was thinking, what can I buy to, what's the cheapest thing to buy to survive? for four days. So, yes, um, Vancouver, that was a complete disaster. That was even a worse disaster than Auckland, um, money-wise. So, I was restricted. I couldn't pay for anything once after about the first, second day. So I just had to um, get myself entertained, went for a walk up to the, um, to the park, lost one of the bouncy balls, on the roof, walking around. Um, and that's about what I did. I can remember setting the fire, uh, the smoke alarm off, like trying to cook that strange steak. Um, and there wasn't any snow. There was loads of snow. Well, there was snow piled up by the sides of the roads, but there wasn't any snow while I was there. It was just very old snow that just hadn't melted. Piled up. Um, so that was a, a Vancouver. I did obviously. I did manage. Just about managed um, to save enough money to actually uh, uh, b -b 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 get the coach to the airport. And the other thing I thought, almost forgot to mention was the cheese. I didn't realise I bought some cheese, and it cost a fort. It was in cheddar, and it cost an absolute fortune. I spent practically all my shopping on a block of cheese in proportion to everything else I bought. So yeah, not only did I, um, not only did I have little money left to survive the four or five days with, I spent most of my money on a big block of cheese. So that was good. Oh, the other thing was I watched Star Wars on TV in, in Vancouver and the dialogue was completely different. Not the, not the, the words, the way they, the way um, they acted, delivered their lines, was completely different to what you see on uh, TV here. There were, it was a bit like um, Darth Vader in, in episode one. Oh, no, episode one, episode one when he's an adult, Hayden Christensen. It was like, they're all acting like that. Hello, Luke, have you got the force? I have got the force, yes. It was dreadful. So there you go, so that store was in Vancouver. The second trip was much more successful. Uh, July the 20, something or other, 2000 and, July the 20 smudge, 2010. Yeah. Um, I went to Canada 
and I visited Niagara Falls. So that's my that's my um, of Canada. Finished my my second trip. I went to the East Coast this time again. I didn't plan it very well. Um, I booked the flights, and I wanted to get as far north as Quebec. And then when I again checked the mileage, it's it's doesn't it's not that's trouble that this is, they're only small aren't they? When I checked the mileages, um it was a lot further than I thought. And even even where I did go was quite a lot of driving. I went I went to Toronto, drove as far north as Montreal, and then um drove uh, returned to Toronto and then on my final day I took a bit of a chance and drove out to Niagara Falls and um, then had to drive to the airport and I allowed myself time and then there was an accident on the motorway on the other carriageway driving back into Toronto so I had a bit of a nightmare that I was going to miss the flight over I, I did actually get there with plenty of time to spare, even though um, I still I had difficulties finding the airport. I don't like spending money on sat nav. It's expensive, isn't it? Sat nav. So I relied relied just on my nose and um, um, some maps I printed and a route map of of that side of Canada, and I I got lost as as. Um, was the outcome, yeah. I got lost C quite a few times. <laughs> I did eventually, I did always, I did always get to where I needed to go. However, I was usually got lost first. Um, Montreal. They have this strange road system in Montreal where, um, how is it? I've got out of now. Strange road system in Montreal where you couldn't, when you came off the, um, Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, on on motorways in, in this country, you have slip roads usually going up off the motorway, whereas in in Montreal, I think my, I'm not sure it was all Canada, Montreal. You um, you you came off and then went, then went under. If you wanted to go to the other side of the of the of the um, of the motorway, and so. I couldn't work out how to get off to find what happened was, yeah, I remember now. I'm rambling. I I um I got off just after my hotel. I should have got off at the previous junction. Cause my hotel was on the right hand side and I was on the right hand side. So I I um I I could see, I came off the motorway, I could see my hotel behind me. I did think of doing a of reversing up the road to it. I, th I thought I'd better not, and I wish I had now because, or well then, because then I couldn't work out how to um, return to the to the way I came up the other carriageway. I couldn't work out how you got you got to the other side of the motorway, and eventually I worked it out. You go under, you go under. It was very confusing, and so. I drove past my hotel about three or four times, trying trying to negotiate the roads, and I ended up in um, I ended up in the airport near the hotel. I was in the Holiday Inn. Yeah, I ended up in the hotel. I ended up near the, in the in the airport, and I had to work out to get out of that. So it was quite fun. Luckily, it was only me and Polly in the car. Otherwise, it could have been stressful. Yeah, it was stressful. It was stressful actually. However, it was less stressful not having someone with you. So um, yeah, Canada, and it's the record heat. I think it was. I think it's the hottest it's ever been in Canada, or close to. It was forty odd degrees. I had to play football as well. Um, I eventually found a pitch. I found some nice pitches. Unfortunately, I had to pay, and I didn't know who to pay. So I eventually found a school pitch, a Toby Coke, I think it's called, and played on that. Um, the grass was a bit long, and it was a bit hot. Still, I had to go. So that was Canada, and I left the football deliberately 
in the car when um, I left Toronto Airport. Just in case someone wanted it. Also, it meant I didn't have to carry it. So that's Canada. Well, that's, well, that's the American side um, That's my Russian visa. I was living in Ireland at the time, so I got the visa in Ireland, and um, I was on a uh, solar holiday, wasn't it? Solar holiday. And a um, week, a week, I stayed in Moscow for a few days, three or four days, and then St. Petersburg for the remaining time. Um, the hotel in Moscow is very nice. Unfortunately, I wish we'd stayed there as the second part of the trip because this hotel in St. Petersburg was a bit small. Um, got the shot glass. What else did we do? Got a train. We caught the train from Moscow to St. Petersburg. Um, not a bad group to be with. Um, so that was good. Um, what else did we do? I had a sent, went sightseeing, yeah, as you do. Organised sightseeing to various different places which I've now forgotten what I saw. Uh, so that was that, yes, Moscow. So all the palaces in St. Petersburg, very impressive. Um, so that was that. So I think that's all the stamps I've got. Because you don't get stamps everywhere you go, do you? Paris. Paris. I, I've been to Paris once before and it was extremely, extremely cold and I queued for the Eiffel Tower and my feet almost froze off. It was November, I think it was. Um, I went to Paris though, believe it or not, there's an offer on Eurostar and I, I caught the train in the morning and returned, <laughs> returned the same day to Paris. So I did, I sang, as you do, in the park near the Eiffel Tower. But, uh, to no one, of course, because I'm mad. So that's Paris. Bermuda, oh, Bermuda was on the cruise. Uh, what have you Vienna, uh, that's, I think this is my last, my last foreign trip. A very stressful flight over, which is one of the reasons why, um, and it's a bit, it's obviously, as you can see, near the cooker, which is why it's a bit splattered. I went in the winter again, and, not again, I went to the winter, like Vancouver, and when I arrived it was minus 10, like it's freezing. Um, almost couldn't find my hotel again, luckily I managed to. It was, I printed out a map, and I'd learned from that experience since, I've now got a magnifying glass, and I print with a big font. It was, it was um, the problem where, f too far away, I could see the words, but couldn't make the map because the letters were too small. And if I put the map up to my face, to then make the words bigger, they went fuzzy. Which is difficult when you're trying to find your way around. Late at night, which is when I arrived. Um, in Vienna. Very nice place, nice buildings, nice coffee and cakes, lovely yes. So I, that was nice Vienna. Um, and I had a better trip on the plane returning. So that, that made it finish on a bit of a high. Um, yes, the hotel was a bit strange. Um, it had a, had a um, oh, mezzanine level for the bed, which I was a bit concerned about falling off during the night. However, I've seemed to have survived. So that's Vienna. Went to Prague. That's Prague in Pragian language. Um, Prague, again, very, probably my favourite to look at. Probably my favourite, the favourite place I've been. It's just got one, it's got a tower, which is good for, for sightseeing, but it's a bit of an eyesore, if you ask, if you want my opinion. Um, when you're actually in the in the city itself, I did go. I did um, go up it though, and you get a very good view. Yeah. So that's Prague, and I had a lovely, lovely hotel. Unfortunately, I was only staying a couple of nights, so that was really disappointing to 
have such a lovely hotel and you'd be there for such a short period of time. Because some places you go and you rather you'd be there at all. In hotels, some hotels. Switzerland, uh, I think I went to Geneva, I've forgotten now. Went to Geneva for a short trip. Um, Helsinki, that was nice. A nice hotel. I didn't almost didn't find the hotel again because it was it was very residential. It wasn't like a proper hotel. It was more like a, um, a, um, a residential area really. It was very nice though once I found it. Um, and I took a trip to Tallinn on the ferry. Ferry was, the ferry itself trip was very stressful because it was so packed. I was, I was on my own and it was just absolutely heaving with people. I almost didn't make that because I'd forgot my passport. I had to run back to the hotel to get it and just about made just about made it to the ferry and then got stressed on the ferry there and returning. Tallinn, the old city is lovely again. There was a new part to it. I didn't visit that, I just went to the uh, to the old side. Uh well, that's happening this house, Sinky. That's about it really, I think. How many minutes have we been going now? Do do Iceland. Um, I had about five days there in I think about August time, so it was quite light, quite late. Um, uh, oh yeah, I went on a tour, booked a tour, and um, we stood by a geezer. Of course, I didn't really think about it, and it went up, and I didn't think about which way the wind was blowing, and so I got wet. Um, Stayed in Reykjavik, went to the um, the hot baths, next to, to, to fed by um, by um, hot springs outside. That was okay, um, and I can remember seeing eyes of blue in a convenience store as you do. Hotel wasn't bad, so that was Iceland. Slutter Pinder, I've been there. Madrid. I think there's more food. Madrid, yeah, there is food. Madrid, um, I had about three or four days there. Quite warm. The hotel was very small. I can remember enjoying a political discussion um, in, the, um, in the hotel room. Um, where, that's about it, really. I can't think what else. Oh, there's. I found, um, I wanted to play football, I couldn't find it, oh uh, yeah, I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, the, the only park I found was, was on too much of a hill, so that didn't go very well. And I can remember um, doing keepy-ups in the, the, the Real Madrid shop, luckily the ball, was, I, the ball was soft, so I didn't, it wasn't too difficult, I didn't do too many. I did some keepy-uppers in the Bernabeu shop, and sang on the steps afterwards, as you do, because, yes, I've discussed that, haven't I? So that's Madrid. A middle spinder. Oh, that's, that's from Italian. Fortunately, that one's broke as well, though you probably wouldn't um, know if I hadn't told you. Italian. Uh, Roma. I went to Rome. I've been to Rome twice. I went on a cruise, a solo holiday cruise, which I enjoyed, and I went on my own as well. Cause I didn't have much that didn't, didn't have that much time in Rome, so I was there for a couple of two or three days. Um, and it's it's mostly no offence, but it's mostly um, it's like a city of ruin, isn't it? It's like. I don't understand it myself. I don't think I think it's because they're not allowed to rebuild. But you think like the Colosseum? Oh, let's go to the Colosseum. Yeah, it's right there. No, it's not. It's ruins. So, um, so that's Rome. I tried to play football there as well. I, it was really hot. I thought I'd found somewhere, and it it was covered in trees. There's not really that much open uh, green space in Rome, to be honest. Um, and that was where I 
uh, took photos of my feet in Rome. I so decided because I'm not travelling my own as usual, it'd be quite funny to, um, at least I thought it was, to um, take photos of my feet in near places. In Helsinki, I took I took pictures of Polly. So there you go, that was Rome. Amsterdam. Um, more food. I had, I had a couple of days there, I think. Stayed in a hotel, got... Um, yeah, I can't remember much about Amsterdam. It's flat. Uh, Yeah, Amsterdam. Went to Amsterdam. It was flat. And at uh, Warsaw, I had two or three nights there again. Um, budget airlines. And um, I found the thing that surprised me was a lot of uh, all the shops underground. Because I suppose they do that. I didn't go in the winter uh, because of the winter because of the cold. Yeah, you, all the all the shops are under, under, underground. So that was that was interesting to see that. The hotel was very nice, extremely nice. Again, I was disappointing, supposed disappointed not to be there for longer. And I can remember singing "Bridge of Triple Water" in that particular hotel. So that's that. And talking of ruins, because I haven't been I haven't been on a trip for since I think two thousand and ten. I think was. Um, was um, the Austria trip. Um, I went to Stonehenge and I decided to get a fridge magnet from Stonehenge. They've had, got a new visitor centre now, of course. I was, I was still there with the, when they had the sort of terrapin type structure. And what gets me, going to talk about ruins, not land, like being had to be rebuilt, was um, they, obviously it's, it's all fallen down or being always pushed down or whatever. And um, so you go into the, to the gift shop and they sell, they sell the stone circle as ruins, as you can take away. Which to me is, is crazy. Or perhaps you could have some versions of it as a ruin sold as a gift, but wouldn't you sell also sell it as it should be? There wasn't, there wasn't, you couldn't buy that, no, you could only buy, buy it as the ruin, which I find a bit silly. So there you go, so I went to Stonehenge. Those are all my fridge magnets. I think I've talked far too much, I could talk more, however that's probably sufficient for the time being. So there you are, uh, heavily used, my passport, that's the front cover. That's the um, rear cover. That's the front cover. So I'll leave Lucy Pinder there because that's the only place I haven't been. Lucy Pinder. And out of tea as well. Of course, I sit down, look at my coffee table, and discover I'd forgotten one um, souvenir from my trips and uh, then I remember i would forgotten two others so I'll start with the car from Jersey I hired a car in Jersey it wasn't a BMW Mini um, however I decided I'd buy one because I quite liked the look of them so I bought that in Jersey I can't remember much about Jersey to be honest Flew there, stayed a couple of days, flew home again. Bought a BMW Mini. They speak French. As well as English. In places. Sicily, I went to twice. I went on Solo's holidays. Um, first time on basically um, get drunk every night holiday. And the second time on a cruise. The, what can I remember on the first one? 
Um, uh, I remember it absolutely bucketed down the very last day we were, of the holiday. I was in a cafe just after midday, I think it was, once I'd shaken off the um, the alcohol, and um, I never thought I was going to leave because this didn't stop raining. And we were supposed to be playing a mixed game of football that same day, and um, we just about managed to because it, the uh, the heart, the tennis court one well, pitch we going to play on was a hard pitch, a uh, hard surface, and uh, it was of course it was flooded. So we had to wait, and it just about dried out enough. I seem to remember, and we managed, and we played. So that was that trip, um, and um, the cruise. We just stopped off, obviously on the cruise, and just I, re I revisited. Let me drink it now. Revisited. I've got coffee waiting. Revisited the places I've been to before, really. Um, Shishly, keeping it brief, and the final thing um, I bought. I don't know. Don't know why, because I had a signet ring when I was twenty-one. I think it was. And I didn't like wearing that. However, I decided to buy a ring in Turkey on the on the same cruise. Stopped it. We stopped in um, Istanbul, Sicily. Uh, Rome and near Naples, if I remember rightly. And um, for some reason I decided, because we they took us to a gold shop, so I bought a ring. And lo and behold, I didn't like wearing it, so I put it um, in the drawer and then decided, um, as you do, Send it to my at the fav at the time my favourite page three girl Keely Hazel, as you do. I'm sure everyone does that, don't they? So I, I kept the certificate because it's there, isn't it? You can see it. And um, yeah, I sent her that gold ring. Um, so that that's finally I've put the fridge magnets onto the bread bin again. It's darker now, so the lights come on. On the um, camera and um, you can see they're not in the same places and they probably have to be particularly loose and be jiggled with later unless to open the bread bin this is a real bread bin look with a magnet as well and it's completely empty so there you go Finally, this is Richard Webster saying goodbye. Would you believe it? I was going through my cupboard, getting a saucer, and I discovered I had another souvenir which I forgot because I went to um, I've been to Berlin as well, and um, I forgot. Yeah, I bought I bought two things when in Berlin. I bought a piece of the Berlin Wall, genuine piece of Berlin Wall apparently, with a trabant, tiny trabant in a, in a glass, no, plastic box. Um, unfortunately it got a bit damaged over the time and um, I had to throw it away. Because it rattled, started, everything started moving inside the box and it was rattling in there and so it didn't look too good. So um, I threw that away. However, I did buy this as well. Little um, plate from Berlin. I stayed near um, in a hotel near Checkpoint Charlie. I remember. Um, I remember having Achtung Baby by you two in my ears, wandering around the streets, and so I sang along with it as best I could. It's very lyrically heavy, that album, so it's hard to remember the words. So, yeah, that was brilliant. I went, into a, I went into a restaurant which was completely pitch black, completely darkness. I only had um, starter and main course. 
that's all I'll say. And um, it was a yeah, it was completely, completely nothing. You can't see anything. Completely black. It was quite weird. Um, what else I do? Uh, met a nice young German lady. Invited to me up to her apartment. So that was nice. Um, so that was Berlin. Final thing. I didn't. I've been to Paris. That's me, Paris. Also, I've been to Disneyland Paris, which isn't really in Paris, is it? And um, I didn't really buy anything to, to remember that trip. What I did have to buy, though, was a European motoring kit bag because I was I caught the ferry and drove to Disneyland Paris. And um, it, it's fair to say it's the... It's the most lost I've ever been. I was using, I was not, didn't have sat there as usual. And um, first I couldn't find the place where the hotel, the actual um, village where the hotel was. And then when I found the village, I had terrible tr troubles finding the hotel. And um, I didn't think I ever, ever was. I, st I stopped and asked someone and then Luckily, I saw a sign for it on on um, lamp post, and so uh, I eventually did find it. I stayed in Montevrain, went to Disneyland Paris. Um, I actually went on one ride this time because the queues weren't too bad, and so I braved one ride. It's more a case of. Um, I'd rather do the go go there again with someone and share the experience with them really. However, I did just go on one, one ride this time. So that's why I didn't tend to go and ride. And also I didn't like queuing either. So um so that's that was Disneyland Paris. The hotel was quite nice, I had a nice I've done a, I've done a tour of it on another video. The hotel was very nice. Um, what else happened? Oh, um, I, after visiting Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Paris, I, um, went to the train station, there was this toilet, and it was absolutely lovely, you had to pay to use it. Um, and it was quite a large size, just one toilet. I think it was for the disabled, I can't remember now. I am disabled, of course, so I'm entitled to use it. And, um, unfortunately, I tried to ask, I tried to ask a lady cleaner afterwards, after I was leaving it, I tried to ask her how long the money I'd put into the slot entitled me to stay in the toilet. I thought perhaps I could stay there for a month. And unfortunately she couldn't speak with very good English, so her conversation didn't go particularly well. But it was lovely, it was a lovely size. So I was wondering whether I could, once I put my money, I could stay there for a month perhaps. Um, so yes, that was that was Disneyland Paris. Hired a car, and unfortunately, on the way home, I got stopped at to have my car checked. So that was a, quite frustrating. Um, and it was quite late at night as well. So yes, that was fun, sitting waiting for them to check all over your car. Um, so yes, that was those. I think finally now are the um, all of. There's no password stamps for those, and um, those I think finally are all of my fridge magnets, souvenirs, passport stamps covered. Oh, one thing I did, in the um, kit, the instructions for the for the putting the stickers on the uh, floodlights headlights. Oh, I weren't that. Clear. I think I got it right, I'm not sure. So I apologise if I didn't. And also it came with it came with um leather wipes and I haven't got a car so I didn't know what to do with them, so I decided I would post them to um Kate Beckinsale for her to use for her next underworld film what was called, is it Underworld? 
underwear, I'm not sure, underworld film. So um, yes, yeah, so that's that is not in that bag anymore because it's been sent off to Kate Beckinsale. So finally, I think that's everything covered now. As the British web is saying, goodbye.